Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about some essential tools when working with Google Tag Manager. As always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you're new to Google Tag Manager please check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course where you'll get five video lessons to introduce you to Google Tag Manager and its core features. So head over to gtmtraining.com slash email course and sign up today. Now today we want to talk about some Google Tag Manager tools that you can use to work more effectively with GTM. And I'm not talking about the feature set that is built into Google Tag Manager like this awesome Google Tag Manager debug console. We already made a video on this which you can check out but rather I want to talk about outside tools which can make your life easier when working a lot with Google Tag Manager, just like myself. So let's start out talking about all of this here, which is basically the browser. You can see that I'm using a version of Google Chrome, which is the browser of my choice. And that's for two reasons. Um, first reason being that it is extendable. So you have the ability to install different plugins and there are some specific plugins that are mainly built for Chrome and are not available on other browsers. So if you want to use another browser, check if it's extendable and the extensions or plugins are available for that browser. The second reason for Google Chrome is developer tools, which we can open under view and then developer and developer tools. And there's a whole another feature set within these developer tools that you can use. Now I don't want to go into too much detail here. I would just refer you to the awesome course by Google and Code School where they introduce you to the developer tools in detail. And I will link that up in the description below. But what I use the debug console mostly for is the JavaScript console where GTM actually logs some of the events and also you can inspect the data layer really easily by putting in data layer into the JavaScript console and you can see which data layer objects have been pushed into our GTM data layer. And this is super useful because Google Tag Manager is basically just JavaScript and the JavaScript console gives us access to some of the features that are not built in into this debug console and therefore we can use it directly on our site. Now developer tools are also available for example on Firefox and other browsers. So I encourage you to check that out for your browser as well. Okay, let's move on to some plugins here. I'll just um, leave the preview mode. So we have a little bit more space here on our page. And the first essential, really essential plugin is the Tag Assistant by Google. This is specifically built for the Google products. So you can check with this plugin whether Google Tag Manager is correctly installed, Google Analytics is correctly installed or any AdWords products. Also double click and floodlight tags would show up here. And if you see that the tag is green, everything is all right. If you see it yellow or red, then there's something wrong and you can always click on the tag and then see more details about it. So for example, here we have a Google Analytics tag. We see the Google Analytics ID and we see that it has been implemented through Google Tag Manager. We also see the page view requests, custom metrics and the URL that was tracked. And this can be super valuable once you try to debug whatever is happening in your Google Analytics. One other awesome feature that I use a lot is the GA debug switch. So if you have the GA debug switch enabled, which I have right now, then you will be able to see all the information that was sent over to Google Analytics in your JavaScript console of your developer tools. So for example, here we have sent over a page view, a new tracker was initiated and we have the information here, whatever has been sent over, which makes debugging Google Analytics far easier. And I want to show you one of the newer features here, which is the recording feature. So 
if you want to be able to see what is happening when you click a link or go through a page, you can click this record button. It will start recording and once you surf through a page, you'll be able to later see what Google Analytics has received or which tags have fired. So we can stop recording here and then we can see our report and basically all the information that is on a page basis available in the tag assistant is now also available on a page by page basis that we went through. So we went from this URL to this URL and these tags fired, which can be quite useful once you go through and want to debug a whole flow of events. So the tag assistant is one of these plugins that I use all the time. For Google products, so Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics and Google AdWords and double click. But what if you want to check out other tags that you have deployed? Because Google Tag Manager can be used for many different kinds of tags. And for that, I would just try to see if your vendor that you deploy has a tag checker plugin or even within the tool, you can see if there's data being received. Example for Facebook, we have the pixel helper, which will give you also the ability to see if your tags are working and a help menu once you run into any troubles and how to debug those. So check out your tag vendor and see how you can make sure that your tags are properly deployed and firing. Now, if you want to have a more agnostic tool that can detect many different tags and see if they are deployed, we can use the Web Analytics Solution Profiler by Cardinal Paths, which you can also install as a Chrome extension. And they actually have two. They have the Wasp Inspector and the Wasp Crawler. I'm talking about the Wasp Inspector here. And once you open up the developer tools, you have another tab called Wasp and this requires you to reload your page. And then you get different information into this tab and can see which tags, but also which scripts have been deployed. And the cool thing about this is when you use Google Tag Manager, you not always see the tags directly in your source code because they are deployed through Google Tag Manager. So with this tool, you can actually see if you have Google Tag Manager here, what does the GTM.js actually deploy to my site? So we have these arrows here and we can see uh, a double click, a Facebook tag and an analytics tag. And once you click into those, you can also see which variables are sent with this particular script. So for example, on the collect call here, we can see that there's a custom dimension sent over. The custom dimension is the index number is two. We have the protocol ID and so on. Basically the information that you also see in the GA debugger under the console tab, which we talked about earlier. So WASP is a really nice tool to do quality assurance, but also to do a tag audit once you are dealing with a new site and want to just see which tags are deployed, which tags are maybe deployed still hard coded and wh which are deployed Google Tag Manager. And also this tool is being fairly often updated so you can expect some new things in the future. We also have this data layer feature here. We can see what has been fired into the data layer. All right, so, so far we have talked about the different tools that you can use generally when working with Google Tag Manager. We have the browser tools such as the developer tools, but also the extensions like the Tag Assistant or Wasp to do a checkup if your tags actually fired and what information has been sent over to your marketing tool. Now let's get a little bit more GTM specific. The first tool I want to talk about is the GTM Sona by Simo Hava. And sometimes in the videos, I ask you to click a button with the command key press. So it opens up in a new browser and our debug console doesn't disappear. 
Let's put our debug console on for now. So we get it right back up. So for example, when I click on this link, the debug console appears, it disappears and then appears again and it's wiped out. That's because JavaScript is stateless and it's re-executed every time a reload happens. And the question here is what can we do in order to keep this debug console alive? We could press the command key and then open it up in a new tab. But this plugin, the GTM Sonar, actually can disable the redirect function for the click listener or for the link click listener. So in our case, we have a click listener. So let's disable that, switch it on. Now it's enabled. Once I click on this landing page, for example, we have the information, but it doesn't redirect us on to the next page, which is super useful for checking the data layer, what has been transferred, the variables and so on. So you don't have to rely on that other technique that I often do with just opening up a new tab. The next tool here is a useful tool called Tag Manager Injector. All you need to have is your GTM ID. So for example, in our case, we have our GTM ID right here. And I'll copy that and put it into our little box here. Now this doesn't make much sense because we already deployed Google Tag Manager on this page beneath the opening body tag. But if we have another site and we could take any site such as google.com and we can inject our tag manager into the page that we have on right now. And this can be particularly useful if you work with a client or with an outside IT agency that takes some time to deploy the Google Tag Manager snippet. That way, through the browser, you can deploy Google Tag Manager on the page. You can already test and see and build your tags into the page. And once the snippet is actually placed on the page, you'll be able to easily deploy your pre-existing Google Tag Manager account without having to wait till the GTM snippet is installed. The only downside of this plugin is it would load on any page. So if you had YouTube here, for example, it would also load on YouTube. Unfortunately, also when you are in your Google Tag Manager account, the only solution to this is take your debug console and push it to the bottom here. But otherwise, a hugely valuable tool if you just want to deploy a Google Tag Manager snippet on a page and prepare your account without the actual GTM snippet being placed on the site. And again, this only works within the browser, so not every user will have Google Tag Manager available. And last but not least, we want to talk about the GTM tools by Simo Ahava. Turn off our tag injector here. And this tool set was built with the new Google Tag Manager API access that was announced end of last year. Let's sign in. And you first have to give this tool set access to your Google Tag Manager account. We can allow this. We allow it here. We are ready to start. Now there are different tools that Simo has released here and you can play around with it and read his blog post on what features it holds ready for you. You can visualize your containers, but the functionality that is most intriguing for me is that you can choose a pre-existing account if you have more accounts available and look into which tags have been already in this account. We have 14 tags, for example, here and 24 variables. If there's a variable that I really like, I can add it to my card. So for example, this analytics ID and I want to have the product IDs here and the title because I have prepared them already and I want to port them over to another account. I can put them into my card and like a shopping system, we can now download 
everything that is in this card, we can give it a name. This will be added to our library, for example, awesome variables. We can save this. And all the variables will be copied over to our new library. And once this is done, we can look into our library. We have here our awesome variables and we can clone these and directly input them into another account. I won't do this right here, but this is a really, really easy method. If you have different variables that you want to upload into different accounts, you can do this easily with this tool set. And it really mimics everything that you can do with the import and export of containers. But obviously with the export of containers, you can only download the whole container and then would need to edit the JSON file in order to pull out a variable, which could be very cumbersome. So the GTM tools are really great for copying over specific parts of your container to a new container. And that's already it. If you have more suggestions for tools, I would love to check them out. There are other tools out there that I know of, but these are really the tools that I use most often in my work. But I'm really excited to hear about your tools that you use maybe on a daily basis when working with Google Tag Manager. So please leave your favorite tools in the comments below. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel or give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course. I'm Julian, till next time.